What's up everybody? Well, I got another Steam Deck OLED gameplay video for you guys today. And today we're gonna check out Shadow Warrior 3 Definitive Edition. Now, I don't know how well this one's gonna run. I think this one's probably gonna be the hardest one to run seeing as though it's three, but maybe one of those other ones that doesn't have a number attached to it is harder to run. I'm not sure. Won't know till I get to them. I'm doing those two last because I don't really know what they even are or if they're even gonna be similar in gameplay wise, you know? But in any case, I'm hoping it'll at least be playable on here, but hold on one way to find out. Let's not waste any more time, get it hooked up with the capture computer and let's go look at some settings and get our some gameplay. All right, here's the settings I decided to go with because I wanted 60 FPS in a game like this, but if you don't care about that kind of thing, you could probably just leave it on the stock settings it comes with and you'll get like 30 to 40 FPS. And it'll look a little bit better. It doesn't look too bad, but it definitely looks a lot better the way it came stock. No denying that. But anyway, let's hop into the game, see how it does. All right, here we go. At the very beginning of the game, so let's go see how it does. And obviously, just because it does decent here doesn't mean it will everywhere in the whole foreseeable game, but at least where I was, it got 60 most of the time. I think I saw a couple dips here and there, but for the most part, it was a pretty smooth experience. And it doesn't look too bad at all, even though it's pretty much on low, except for one thing on medium. Hope they want me to go up there, duh. But it still has a little stutter here and there, too. Alright, so we're supposed to destroy that with the sword, huh? Alright. Go. All right, and the ones that are ranged, obviously I need to use that because I probably can't use my sword in midair. Maybe I can, but they probably want me to use the gun for that kind of stuff. Oh, so I'm getting to our first little fight here. Show guys, eh? I should just switch to my, use my sword, but I'm gonna use the gun for a little bit because I almost like always use the freaking sword, I think, the whole freaking game for the most part, so. Sorry, pal. Might as well use the gun for a little while, too. Not, not everybody likes only swords like me. Well, I like swords and guns, but I like katanas a little bit more, even though they're way less efficient in today's age. Alright, cool. That was hey, nice, that's the health. Ah, check, please. Low on ammo, though. Oh, I think that's ammo up ahead. There we go. I want to pull the friggin' sword out, too. There we go. And it was ammo. Sweet. Alright, B to slide. There we go. Oh, I think it wanted me to slide down the mountain. There we go. Although, I think I can drop from any distance. I don't think I should die. That's how the other games were, but I guess that doesn't mean this one's necessarily that way, I guess. But I would assume, sure assume it would be. Oh, I think it wanted me to, like, use, like, basically the force to push him into the spikes, but whatever. Here we go. You happy now, game? I did it once. That's what you get for making fun of my hair. Oh, yeah, I should yeah. do that more often, but... I like, I'm more hands-on. I like to use the katana more often than not. But, you can't do that with everything. Gas blast for a little extra distance. I'm sure there'll be some enemies and some bosses even that I just can't really do anything with this thing. Oh, can I make it? Okay, phew. I almost forgot about the dash. Without the dash, I don't think I would've made that. Ooh, big ass dragon. Yeah, see, I mean, it's doing pretty good. Every once in a while, it drops down like 58 or something like that, but I don't think I see any drops to like 40 or anything that would be like a huge stutter or anything like that. I should not use the gun, I should definitely use it to take my instinct and use the sword. <laughs> Alright, am I supposed to go down here? Okay, yes. 
Didn't know if that was a certain death or where I was supposed to go. Oops. Okay, can I make this? All right, barely, but I did. Ah, oh, cool. Shotgun. Or at least that's what it looks like anyway. Oh yeah, it's pretty much a shotgun. Finishing this up is like a couple seconds after this isn't going to make it burn. And if it does, that's my own fault. I couldn't have been making garlic bread while doing my recordings, but I thought I could kill two birds with one stone. And I was pretty close. Alright, and now let's move on and let me go get my bread before it burns. Alright, let's get some camera for your gameplay now.
I'm saying hello to everybody. I thought I got a hit. Huh. All right, I'll take it. Say this is a great opportunity to go wrap this video on up. Well, all right, guys, that's a wrap for Shadow Warrior 3 Definitive Edition, and I actually got it to run halfway decently. There were still some drops under 60 here and there, but for the most part, it was pretty smooth 60, but unfortunately we had to turn almost everything down to low to achieve it, but it really didn't look that awful on the little tiny screen there, and at least being OLED and all, at least it pops. Still though, the Ally screen is still a very good LCD, so it's not like I'm sitting here saying, oh no, OLED is the only way to game. As long as it's a decent OLED or LCD, it still can look decent. I'm just spoiled by the no backlight bleed and all that, and the instant response time and all that stuff. That's pretty cool. I wish it had variable refresh rate, but I think I know why they didn't do it. Either A, there wasn't a screen available, or B, they didn't want it to flicker. Apparently, OLEDs can have issues with flickering. I've noticed it a little bit here and there, but unless I'm looking for it, I don't really notice it. You'll notice it if you drop well under your, or close to your limit in a really dark scene, but that doesn't really happen to me very often. But I have still noticed it here and there, testing games, you know, with way higher settings than I would play them at, you know? But anyway, it's time for us to wrap this up so I can get started on the ally video. But hope you guys enjoyed this video though, because I sure as hell enjoyed making it for you guys. And until the next video, peace out guys.